what's up, what's up, everybody? This is True Food East. I'm Chef Curtis. Hey, we cooking, like I always say, we're gonna have some fun in the kitchen, but today I'm doing something different. I'm doing something for a friend. He got a little something going on, and he asked me, he's like, hey, he said, Kurt, hook me up. Now, he's Filipino, but he don't know how to cook. It's funny, because but he say he don't know how to cook, but, but I know. But he loves, you know, when I cook different dishes and stuff. And actually, he's the guy that's been trying a lot of my food and testing it out and everything. And, and, you know, just telling me, you know, what I should add, what I should add. And that's good. So today, he having a little gathering today because it's a holiday, you know, weekend. And uh, he asked me, he wanted me to do some pensin, you know, noodles for him to take over, you know, you know, have everything ready. So I was like, what can you want? He's like, man, throw some, throw some shrimp in there, throw some chicken in there. And I was like, I never made it before. He was like, come on, chef, I know you can hook me up. So I took the challenge. I'm going to hook him up. I'm going to get everything done. So like I said, I, got, I got, the, got the chicken right here. I got the shrimp right here. I got some onions. I got some green onions. And I got some garlic, but I'm going to chop more garlic. I got more garlic over here in the corner. I'm going to chop that up. I got some more onions and I got some more carrots. Because now it turned out to be a big amount of people. Before, it was supposed to be like three or four people. And he didn't tell me. He talking about 10 people. So I think I got enough for 10 people to make it. So we'll see. But and then I had another friend. His name is Wendell. And he gave me, I was looking for the calamati, the little, uh, wow. but my wife friend found him. He got a tree. He got four or five trees in his backyard. I was like, damn. He, we didn't know that. He gave me a bag of these joints. A bag. I mean, like, wow, I was like, I was really shocked. And he, I mean, wow, I'm, I'm glad I got them, so I'm, I'm gonna use them. But uh, yeah, see, it's good to know people, you know, in, you know, in high places, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm gonna hook these up, I'm add it to the, to the dish. So let's get started, guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish chopping my onions over here, get some more onions, get them on there, just a couple more. They ain't got too many, but, but that should be it. And we'll add this to this right here. Get the onions over here. Just add it on here. I got a little bowl. My bowl a little too small, but that's okay. We'll make it work because we're going to cook it all anyway. We're going to cook it all up and, and make it all work. So that's what we're going to do. And also, I got more green onions I'm going to add to the dish. You know, and I'm not going to do nothing crazy to this dish because this is for him. You know what I mean? And... I said, I'm not going to do nothing crazy. Well, I don't know, but you know me. I may change up as I get going. And then I'm just going to take a, you know, just, you know, do it for them. Make it look nice and make it work. Yeah, to so make it work. Get that for here. It don't look too good. I don't like that. I don't like that, baby. I don't like it. But we don't waste food. We don't waste stuff around here. So get that in the bowl. Get that. And we're going to finish chopping up everything else and get it going all right everything else and get it going and we're not gonna we're not gonna waste this this part right here we still use it because they do, do the same thing i know some people throw it away i throw it away sometimes too you know not all the time but sometimes i do throw it away you know but today i'm not i'm gonna use everything here Just clean that clean that up clean up over here clean up over here can't have a messy kitchen you know and then my wife, she got experiments going on. I got all these little, little tubes and everything walking around, around my kitchen. That she's, she got a lot of stuff going on in the kitchen, but it's okay. You know, she growing like little. I don't. What, what you growing, baby? What you growing? I'm growing a mango seed. Mango seed. That's what she's doing. <laughs> so we got all these little, little gadgets in the kitchen. You know, I know y'all probably laugh when y'all see it. Y'all be like, what's that over there? I see that over there. Well, that's her little gadgets. You know, it's okay. You know, everybody got hobbies and do things. And she likes to grow plants and, and things like that, which is good. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Get some carrots chopped up. Just get a little carrots. Get them all chopped up. Get the rest of these chopped up. Yeah, so get this all done. So it'll be fun. So yeah, I mean, I don't have a problem cooking for my friends and they asked me to do stuff for them, you know, I don't have a problem doing that. You know, I make it work for them, you know. And I actually do this a lot at one point. I used to cook a lot of stuff for my friends 
and uh, have them come over and do a lot of things. Now, I still do it, but not as much as I used to, since you know what's going on in the world is that you know you just gotta you gotta watch yourself and make sure everything's right. So, uh, so guys, I'm gonna finish up over here, and then when I come back, I'm gonna start everything on the stove. Okay? All right. All right, I'm gonna finish up this cabbage. I'm just gonna shred it a little bit. Let me take the head off right there. And it was, we're just gonna shred it. And I think, honestly, I think this is enough. I don't think I should do any more. But if I need to do more, I can always add more because I'm a, Put this in there a little less, you know, and uh, that's gonna be less anyway. Well, you know let, me, let me see if I can get a little bit more out of this one and see if I can get a little bit more and see what happens, okay? Yeah, I got this all done. And that's that, that's, just, that's plenty. I think there's plenty right there. I don't think I should do any more of that. I love the color. Yeah, it's, it's, so gonna, it's gonna look nice. It's gonna look nice when we're done with it. It's gonna look really nice it's very colorful. when we're done with everything. So, you know, we're gonna we're gonna make it work. You know, we have to. And uh, thank you guys for enjoying the crispy pata. I'm glad you guys really liked the video for that one. And but this one, I'm gonna try and see how this turned out. Since I gotta cook for them anyway, so I said, well, I might well film it. Cause at first we weren't gonna film it. We're just gonna just, I was just gonna cook it for them. And then, what you tell me? You said, film it, film it, let's film it. Yeah. So, you know, I was like, okay, let's just put it, put it, you know, film it and see how it comes, what, what, you know, whatever. You know, cause I know you guys always tell me what's going on. <laughs> Y'all give me the 411. Hey, hey, chef, you need to add this to it. You need to add that to it. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, I gotta get the right stuff and, and work with the right ingredients. You know, it's a certain brand they told me to get. So now I know when I go shopping to get this brand, a certain brand. So I'm gonna work with what I got for right now. But uh, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna go get the brand you guys want me to get. So, you know, so, you know, we'll see. All right, guys, let's get started. I'm gonna put a little, put a little oil here and I'm gonna cook off some of my my vegetables, I'm gonna get that all cooked off and get that going. Get this, I'm gonna get this going over here. Turn this down a little bit and get everything ready. You're gonna hear a little noise because I like to have my little fan on because in my house, everything make noise. Everything. If I cook something, beep, 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 I mean, it'll go crazy. So I'm gonna start with that. And then I'm, I actually gotta start with this one right here. My, I'm gonna start with my onions first. Get my onions. So I'll take my onions off. You know, and get that going. And once that get going, I mean, I'm only work with everything. I'm having everything all ready to go. And we're just gonna saute all the good stuff off. And I'm gonna just add the onions, some of the garlic to it. Add me some garlic. I want it to be good. He's gonna love this. Garlic like that, you know what I mean? Because, you know, sometimes you can burn that garlic and it can, oh my God. It'll mess your whole dish up. Woo. I'm telling you, it'll mess the whole dish up. All right. We're gonna let it get that glassy look. See that glassy look? Yeah, that glossy. I call it the glossy, glassy look. That daydream look, like you daydreaming, baby. And that's what we want right there. Now, normally, I would do my carrots differently, but I'm gonna do the way that you guys do it. Cause normally I would blanch my carrots off and then shock it with, with cold water, ice water, to get that, get that bright, bright, bright color, you know? We're gonna keep it right there. We're gonna take this out. I got a pan over here for that. All right. See that glassy? Let's hit the next mold. Let's take glassy look. Nice color. Let's get the carrots a nice color. 
and let that go. Let that go for a minute. And I won't season nothing until, you know, till we get, I'm gonna I'm I'm season my, my shrimp and my, uh, my, my chicken, but I won't season my carrots and like that. I just keep this the way this is. We just want to get it nice for the nice, have a nice little crunch to it. We don't want to get it all down because it, it just, you know, don't look like this is chicken, chicken. We'll let that cook for a minute. I'm gonna add a little bit of what I'm gonna add to this. I'm gonna add a little salt to it. Just a little bit. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper to it. Just to the chicken. And I think that'll that'll work on there. We're gonna make this work. It's gonna be good, guys. I mean, they're gonna enjoy this at their party. I laughed at them too because I told them, I was like, man, you should have told them to make some dinner guan or something like that. You know, because, like I said, every time we go to the Filipino, uh, you guys go to a party, y'all just wanna do the noodles. And I like teased him about it. And he was like, man, it's the easiest thing. I was like, I know. I'm not gonna cook these too much. I just wanna give them a, I just want that pink color to come out. Cause I don't want to overcook them. Cause I don't want them to turn uh, rubbery on me. So I don't want to overcook these at all. Okay. And that should be almost it right here. Because it's actually gonna go back in anyway. So we're not gonna overcook it. We don't we definitely don't want to overcook the shrimp. Cause I hate that rubbery taste when these shrimp. Oh my god. Things are nasty when it's all right, I got my broth. It's going. So what I'm gonna add? I'm gonna add some uh, some fish sauce, salt, uh, stock sauce in it. Some fish sauce, and I'm gonna add more. Cause I'm, I'm gonna taste it and see how it tastes. Get this going. I'm gonna add some. Uh, and what I got right here? I got a little um. Uh, Soy sauce, I'm gonna to add to it. I'm gonna let that go. And then, I got some dark, dark, uh, well actually, I got some oyster sauce. I'm gonna put a little or oyster sauce in it. Just a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit. Just a little bit of oyster sauce. Cause I, want, I mean, I like oyster sauce. I don't know if they do it this way, but I like the flavor of it. And I think it, it brings out a lot of your food with that in there. That's what I think. It brings out a lot. And at the end, I'm going to put a little dark soy in it. Just a little dark soy, not a lot. That's it. That's all I want in a dark soy to go with it. I know y'all saying, hey, he ain't put too many things in there. But, you know, hey, that's what, you know, being a chef, if you do, you try it. You try different techniques, see if it works, and uh, and go from there, man. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, then you just, you know, get try, try, try again. That's how you learn. You know, when I teach people how to cook, that's what I'm doing right there. I'm, you know, we trying things, we we testing things and see what works, what don't works. But I think this works right here. and. Basically, you guys use all these ingredients anyway. So I wanna know, you know, this, I'm gonna do it this way and see how it goes. All right, so let, let's just boil for a minute. Let me get my noodles and then I'm gonna put them in there and then we'll go from there. All right, I got my noodles. Let's see if this works. See if I'm doing it right, guys. 
see if it, see how it goes. I think I got the right noodles. Cause there's two different ones you have to get. And it said pancet noodles, you know, rice noodles. So that's the one I'm working with, the pancet. So you guys tell me if it's the wrong one. So that's what it says right there. So, so we'll see. We're gonna let that do its thing. And we'll let it do its thing when we come back. Chicken Cheers. stock, I, I'm sorry, cause I didn't tell you guys I had chicken stock in there. You know what I mean? So I seasoned my chicken stock. So that's what I use, chicken stock in here, okay? So, and my noodles are getting good, they're nice. So what I do is, instead of me sauteing these off, I'm gonna do it like this because he's going to a party and I don't want it to be uh, broke down completely. And um, that's why I'm doing it like this. I'm adding this to this so it don't, you know, so the, the cabbage will be already soft, but it, does, it won't be, you know, broke completely down. So if you do it like this, the cabbage will still be nice and warm. So that, then that's the lick you want to do. You don't want to over, especially if you go, you're taking it somewhere. If you're taking it somewhere to a party, I have to do it this way, you know, and I, I just, that's why I didn't saute it off. Cause I want them to have that nice little bite to it when they're eating it, you know, when they're eating this. And this is ready pretty much. And then all I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna add the, uh, everything back in there. Add the carrots back in. Put the onions back in. Put all the good stuff back in. Add the shrimp. Add the chicken. It's gonna be a lot. They really gonna enjoy this. Oh, I know how to hook it up. It's nice. All right. Let me put that little juice in there. Get that nice look. That juice flavor in there. And that's it right here, guys. There you go, guys. That looks good. Oh, yeah. There you go. Not overcooked at all. We're gonna let that go a little bit more. Make sure everything is cooked. Everything is broke down. That's why I'm double checking. Everything is broke down, see? Everything is broke down. All right. There we have it. How right, look, guys. Let me see how it tastes. I gotta taste it. Put a little bit in my hand just to see. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God. And I know y'all probably said it's a little too dark, but I know how I like it. So, you know, it's gonna be just a little bit on the dark side, but I like a lot of soy, guys. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. I love a lot of soy, you know? And that's, you know, that's how I like it. Let me see, what else? Need more noodles? Do I need more noodles? Mm. Let me get the height up there, let me get it. Cause you know, we play with the height when we, when we plate stuff up. It's all about how high it looks and what we put up top and put some of them shrimps up there. Make it look nice and beautiful. Give some of these beautiful carrots, you know, to go in there. Oh, let me uh, clean it up. And then we're gonna, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna clean this up a little bit. We're gonna add the little onions. Just a little bit of onions on there. Not much. And we're gonna add the rest of the onions gonna go in inside that big uh, the bowl because we gotta plate this whole thing up right here. Got a lot of we'll put more stuff in there and make it more. And what y'all think guys? And then we'll take these. And then if you wanna put them on there if you want to, up to you guys. How you say it? Calamanti? Calamansi. Calamansi. The calamansi right here. We can add that on there. How'd it look, guys? You tell me if I did justice or oh, I did not. So, I don't know. Good, baby. It's good, baby. Mmm. Yeah, it's good. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. 
Mm, 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 mm. That's good. Y'all may talk about me adding that extra, the dog soy, but that brings it out. Woo! And that oyster sauce, woo! That, that, mm, 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 mm. that makes it good. Real good. I don't want to see my fork in there because I got to give it to him. But that's good. That's popping. So they're going to tell me how good it is. That's, that's out, man. Woo, man. Man, 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 man. But guys, I tell you what, like I said, if y'all want me to hook up some more stuff, I know y'all hit me up with some stuff already. I'm gonna start working on that. But I still like to go out too, but show me some love when I go out, please. <laughs> you know what I mean? Cause I like cooking at home, but I also like to go out and try other things. But, but I'm, I'm gonna get this nailed down, guys. I'm gonna nail it down, I'm gonna nail it down. I'm gonna be cooking so much stuff for you guys. Y'all gonna be thinking, you gonna say, that's my Filipino brother right there, the brother from the other mother. I'm telling you, that's, that's what y'all gonna be saying. Um, what, what they call me already? No. Tito Curtis. Tito Curtis. So I'm Tito Curtis right now, and we gotta do some shout outs. Who we doing shout outs to today too? We chef got, from Germany. A uh, chef from Germany. What's up, my brother? What's up? Hey, I, I'm, I'm, I, hey, I read your, your, your post and everything. Thank you, I appreciate it. So I'm giving you a shout out. Who else I'm giving a shout out to? Tirzo Cruz. Tizzle Cruz. Cruz. All right, Cruz. I'm giving you a shout out too, my brother. And who else? Who else we got on the list? Pat Cast. Pat. He's the one calling you Tito Curtis. You know, holler at me. Holler at me. When I get out there, if you out there in the Philippines or you here, I don't know where you at, but I think I, he's in the Philippines, right? I think. I think, I think in the Philippines or he out here, I'm going to holler at you. We got to, you know, we going to do something. You know what I mean? When I get out there, we got to do something, you know? I'm ready to get out there once everything clears up. I'm going to be out there cooking and eating, eating my way through the Philippines, all through every province and hanging out. You know what I mean? Videos I'm watching the Philippines and seeing all the beautiful places and the beaches and the people and the in a different province and how everybody live. Man, that's that's beautiful. That's a beautiful thing. You know what I mean? You know, and I love it. And I can't wait to get out there and wait to show my love. You know what I mean? And, and have some fun and meet some great people. And I, we got some great Filipinos here in the United States too. Especially in LA, 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 LA. All my brothers and sisters, Filipino brothers and sisters, what's up? What's up? What's up? I love all of you guys. Stay watching us. We, we, we appreciate it. So guys, you know, like I said, I ain't got really got to say it. Just but smash that bell. Subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you really like this video. And also, guys, stay true to your food and stay safe out there. Peace out.